A U.S. Army general is on trial at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, charged with sexual assault. His alleged victim took the stand to testify yesterday. The 51-year-old brigadier general is apparently the highest-ranking officer to face court-martial for such a crime. And it comes during what seems to be an epidemic of sexual assault cases in the U.S. military. National Security Correspondent David Martin reports. His career already ruined, Brigadier General Jeffrey Sinclair entered court to confront his former lover. Sobbing and barely able to look at him, the 34-year-old Army captain, whose name we are not using, told the court what Sinclair had threatened to do if she ever revealed their affair. I will kill you and your family and do it in a way no one would know it was me. She related the highs and lows of an on-again, off-again three-year affair during which the married Sinclair allegedly used the power of his rank as deputy commanding general of the 82nd Airborne to coerce her into a sexual relationship and at times sexually assault her. In an opening statement, defense attorney Ellen Brotman attacked the captain's credibility by citing journal entries written during the affair. I love being near him. He really overwhelms me. He makes me so, so, so very happy. I don't want to play the fool. Attorney Brotman. That she voluntarily entered into the relationship and voluntarily stayed in the relationship and didn't do anything she didn't want to do while she was in it. According to the defense, when the captain found an email on Sinclair's computer from another female officer saying, where are you, I miss you, I love you, she finally reported the affair. Sinclair has already pleaded guilty to a number of offenses, including adultery, which is a crime in the military. He faces up to 15 years in prison but if convicted of sexual assault, he could get life. For CBS This Morning Saturday, David Martin at the Pentagon.